this is one of the indices question and before you, you, you must know how to solve this type of questions you need to have the idea of what quadratic right? how quadratic work works the reason is that with this type of problem we don't have any tool or any method that will help us solve this problem so easily so that is why you need to understand the work of what quadratic and how quadratic work works so this is how the question is being set so from the question we are giving this to be 4 exponents x minus 3 point out, or 3 multiplied by this point means what multiplication so 3.2 exponent out, x plus 1 that is equal to minus 8 they say you should solve this right so how do you solve this type of problem as i said earlier you must understand the how you have you must have the idea of what quadratic and how quadratic what works so let's let dive into this solution and check how to solve this type of problem here so here i'm having four exponent s so this four can be written as well two exponent two there's a reason why i'm doing this right so there's a reason and then two exponent two obviously that we are not doing anything to the x so here is what x minus so three multiply this point means what multiplication so three multiplied by two exponent s plus or plus plus yes plus one so in indices we know that we know that if you have let's say two exponent s multiplied by two two exponent one so what it means is that the loss is that if this guy and this guy are the same you just what add the exponent so that will give you more two exponent or s plus one so it can be the other way around so if now we are giving this we are giving this so we can rewrite this thing to look like something like that right so the idea is that look at i'm having two exponent x here two exponent x here that was how i brought this guy down to be two exponent two that will give you four so I, i'm going to replace that that will shift the quadratic that is the only way and that is the only method for now we can use to solve this type of problem so with this one i can rewrite this thing to be what, two exponent what, x multiplied by two exponent one because the law permits me to say that if these two guys are multiplying and then they are the same here and we can just add on the basis so here 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 tends to be what, positive because the eight will go into the left hand side that tends to be what, positive what, Eight here, everything is equal to zero. Where we are heading towards to is the quadratic, right? The nature of quadratic. I don't want to uh, worry with uh, a variable that should be what a s square plus what b s what plus c that should be equal to zero. All these things are just a variable, right? We just you look at how the quadratic looks like in just a few minutes. Now let's proceed. So so far, what all that we are doing is to use the law of indices to break these guys down. Right, so here you can see that this guy is what two exponent two or two x means that these two and two are multiplied because they are the top here, right? They are on top, so they are multiplied. So I can just interchange them just like saying uh, two multiplied by x is equal to two s, or maybe x multiplied by two is what is still equal to two s, the same thing. So in that case, I can just swap these two guys. The idea of doing that it, it will come in just a few minutes in the next line. So here you can see that here you are having three here, or uh, minus three here, and then two here. So these two guys they are all multiplying, right? So we cannot multiply that guy because it's not one of them. Is that okay? So this is a, just a number. This is also just a number. So what I have to do, you can multiply this guy and this guy, right? So that gives me minus six, and then multiply by what two x, right? 2, two exponent x here. so plus 8 now should be equal to 0 okay now let's proceed look at what is happening I can see 2 exponent x here and then I can see another 2 exponent x here so that is exactly where we are heading towards to. so what can we do so we can replace right you can you can use the way we replace here, or let 2 exponent x is equal to any variable any variable of your choice so the variable that I'm going for is just y right we can use any variable we are just replacing we are replacing this two exponent x here in this equation by what just y why the idea is that we want to see a quadratic that is the only thing we know how to solve now right so this guy here can be what i can just replace this guy by what? y so y raised to the power two obviously everything has been replaced by y so that will give me what y raised to the power two here is minus six right and then multiply by two exponent x and i say that two exponent s be what uh y so that will give me what minus 
says y plus h is equal to this is exactly how quadratic equation looks like so this is where we are heading towards to okay and now this is we know how to solve this thing by by a uh, factorization method or by quadratic formula and so on. but here I'll, I'll advise you to use the factorization method if that one doesn't work then you can go forward uh, a quadratic formula so now using a factorization method if you don't know how to solve the quadratic or uh, by what factorization you can comment down below right just comment down below now by factorization method you want to factor out your factor should be what these two guys here. so these two guys when you factor you are going to get y minus of two and the second bracket will be what y minus of four and everything will be what equal to zero okay now what do you do you solve each bracket up separately so the first bracket here will give you y minus two equal to zero meaning that y my y is equal to two and then here to have y minus four for the second bracket equal to zero meaning that y is equal to four right okay if you enjoyed the video so far maybe you may consider subscribing to the youtube channel for more content like it. just share and comment down below if you have any issue all right now look at something after solving the quadratic we had y to be equal to two or y is equal to four where is this y coming from from the question they gave us they didn't give us y we are the one who brought this y to come and take in charge of what two exponent x can you see two exponent x so this is what we are giving in the question and then we we let this guy replace the two exponent x for us to be able to to solve the what the problem so if you have your y to be what it could say then take this guy away you are just being in charge just like a delegation right take care of something for me when i come back i'll come and pick it okay so this guy you are now we are back we are back who who who, who was the the owner of what this two years that's what you were uh two exponential uh x here so yeah you can use the words there but why this y here was what two exponent so meaning that we are just going to replace back right we are just going to replace by this guy to be what two exponential x is what equal to two because that was what we had when you saw the quadratic right we are just replacing we are just replacing this guy here to be two exponent s well because that was what we know right this is what we know okay so two exponent s is equal to two meaning that the law of indices is that if these two guys are the same and then they are being equated right so it means that the exponents are also the same it's okay it's the same person you see it's the same person so meaning that whatever they are carrying is also the same so here if you assume that there's a one here that gives us more you know, s to be equal to one and then we have we have two answers for the quadratic so the second one to the same thing uh two exponent s is equal to four right this four is coming from the answer that we got from the quadratic this guy is that okay okay so now what do you do so with the idea of indices you can just break this guy down to switch up the number here the smallest number so this two this four here can give you a two exponent or two is that okay since this guy and this guy are the same meaning that the exponents are also the same so therefore s is equal to uh, two because the answer to this the, this this type of problem is so x is equal to one or s is equal to two so this is how simple you solve this type of problem. so look at the second question from the question second question we are giving what uh three exponent two x minus five uh, multiplied by three exponent x plus or six is equal to what, zero you see with the same scenario from the previous question the, whatever is here the smallest the smallest number is what we are we are we are looking for so this is what three exponent x here so what do you know you know that these two guys are multiplied so i can just rewrite that to be three exponent x multiplied by two i just explained this in, in, in a few minutes ago right so the reason why i want to see the same number here the same thing here right the same person here the same person here so that i can just replace them that will help me easily well solve the this type of problem by using what a quadratic so that is the first step that is your first focus in what in this type of what, problem now that i can see the same person here the same person here then we are free to go so you can replace that three x three exponent x here to be equal to a obviously that here i'm using a different what, variable you can choose your own variable right you can choose nobody will arrest you for doing that so you can choose your own variables here then 
after replacing you can see that we are just replacing right we are replacing this guy from this question that will give him what a exponent 2 right the 2 is here a exponent 2 when i saw 5 5 is here already so 5 this guy tends to be what a here so minus 5 a plus or 6 is what, equal to 0 is that okay so this is also another nice what, quadratic that you have to solve so by the factorization method you have about to be what, a minus so 2 and then a minus so 3 is equal to equal to 0 meaning that a is equal to the first from the first bracket we had your a to be equal to 2 and then and then you had your a to be equal to equal to 3 what do you know we are the one who brought this guy to come and take care of come and take care of this 3s right 3 exponent s here so now we are back we are now we are back since we are back so this a has to go away, right so a was so 3 was exponent of exponent x so what did we what did we get so we had a to be equal to 2 meaning that 3 exponent s is equal to 2 now look at what is happening look at what is on look at pay close attention here so you have that 2 exponent of s is equal to 2 have you seen that these two numbers we can there's no way we have another number that will switch these two guys to be the same right now that we can break this 3 down to be equal to 2 or this 2 here can go up to be equal to 3 there's no number here is that okay unlike in the first question we had also easily so if this thing happy you just need to take what uh antilog right taking what antilog uh, or maybe taking log of what uh, the both sides so this is the another tool that will help us to to do that right so taking log of uh, the both sides minimum log of what uh, three exponent s is equal to log of uh, two when do we do this we do this when you cannot have any number that can reduce these two guys to be the same because in, in this i know that if these two guys are the same then i can just equate to the exponent right now in this case you cannot have any number to do that so you have to take log of uh, the both side so this is the log here this is the log here log of three exponent s is equal to log of two and then the idea is that you see this guy one of the law of the uh, logarithm says that if you have log of what uh, 3 exponent another thing here being raised to the power this guy can come down right it's a law that you have to obey right this is a law so meaning that i brought this guy down that gives me s log 3 is equal to log of 2 so here we are looking for s so you just need to divide both sides by four. log 3 right so this is just like this equation is just like 2 s is equal to 3 Right, two s is all you do. You just divide here by three, divide here by what? Sorry, divide here by two, divide here by two. So that goes out. So it's the same thing. We are having s log three, so you are going to divide here by what log three, and then divide here by log three. That's why I got my x to be equal to log of two divided by what log of three. Right? Okay. Now remember that in quadratic, when you solve the quadratic, you get you have what two answers. So that is for the first one. So the second one we had a to be equal to three. Right? So a to be equal to three. What was the a? A was just a caretaker, a caretaker of what? Three exponent s, right? So now three exponent x is equal to three. Obviously, this is very nice and straightforward. Since these guys are the same, right? This guy are the same. Then we can just equate to the exponent here. Is that okay? Meaning that s is equal to. So we are having two answers for what? For x. The first one is log of two divided by what? log of three, and then the second one is what? s is equal to one. So this is how. Very nice and beautiful way you have to solve this type of questions on the indices. So thank you for watching. In solving this type of questions, or maybe you are giving this guy log of uh, x base 10, right? So this is log of x base 10 is equal to 0.5 and then log of y base 10 is equal to 1.5. And then we have been asked to find x plus y. Right, so this is what we are looking for. We want to add these two guys, but look at where they are they, they are hiding, right? They are hiding under the, the log sign, so we need to bring them out. So, how do you do that? So, the only tool that can help you to do that is to uh, know the way to write from indices to uh, logarithm. So, maybe assuming they are siblings, right? They are siblings, so initially, we know that in indices, when I say this two exponent x is equal to let's say something like one assuming by assumption so this is the base this is what we call the base right the bigger number here is the base and this is what we call the exponent is that okay and this is the answer that you get is that okay so you just need to know this thing this is base this is base here and then 
this is the exponent and this is the answer so how can you rewrite this thing in logarithm so look at something this is the log here so what i say earlier when is that log of x base so this is the base here is equal to uh, 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 0.5 so this 0.5 here is the exponent in logarithm this is the exponent right this raised to the power exponent and this is the base and of course this will be the answer right so this is the base here and this is something that you just need to know right this is the base and this is what the exponent so log of x base 10 is equal to one. meaning that meaning that if i want to rewrite so let's see how to solve this problem so i'm having what uh, log of x base 10 is equal to uh, 0.5 so you just need to rewrite this and the reason is that they say you should add x plus y the x plus y you need to bring the x out right we need to know the x and the y before we can add them together so if i want to rewrite this thing it means that the base is here which is 10 base 10 exponent what 0.5 so 0 0.5 here and then the answer is equal to what, x right this is the only two that you need to solve this type of problem you need to know how to rewrite them from when this is to what logarithm so the base here is the, the one down here right look at where this guy down here tells it that that is just the base right so base is 10 exponent this one this one this guy is what the answer here is what the exponent so exponent 0.5 is equal to it so you can just use your calculator to do this so, so that will give me 3.165 right is equal to s so now that we find the s so the same scenario you can use to to get your y so your y here maybe i guess you should pause the video and try that right so your y here will be what uh base up the base is 10 then exponent of 1.5 and then the answer is equal to y right this is the base and this is the exponent so that's the relationship between logarithm and what indices okay so the base is what 10 raised to the power 1.5 is equal to y so now we know uh, so by the help of calculator also maybe or with the help of that so you can have a 31.623 is equal to y so now we know the y and then we know the s so you can just add it to because that's what they say you should find they say find find let's look for s plus y so now we have your uh, x as well as what uh, i guess what added to so that would be 3.165 plus or 31.623 so you add it to you are going to get to 34.79 so this is how simple you solve this type of problem by just swapping what uh, the, the between the indices and logarithm